Hello everyone! Welcome to our learning activity video on solutions to math facts for senior high school general mathematics. We are now in quarter 1, week 8b. Now let's start! Exercise number 1, directions. Determine whether the given expressions is a logarithmic function, a logarithmic equation, a logarithmic inequality, or neither. Write your answers in your answer sheet. For the expression in this column, and we have the answer. So for number 1, we have g of x equals log of x to the base 5. Obviously, this is a logarithmic function. Number 2, y equals 2 times log of x minus 1 to the base 4. Again, still logarithmic function. Number 3, log of 4x equals negative log of 3x plus 5 to the base 10. If the base cannot be seen here, it is understood that the logarithmic expression is on, of base 10. Now we have a logarithmic equation. Number 4 log of x minus 1 to the base 2 is greater than or equal to 0. Obviously, because of the inequality symbol, we have a logarithmic inequality. For number 5, we have log of x times quantity x minus 3 equals log of 4. They have the same base 10. Logarithmic equation. Then for number 6, g of x equals 5 raised to 2x minus 1 plus 7. This is not a logarithmic equation, logarithmic inequality, or logarithmic expression or function. So it's neither. For number 7, log of x plus 1 to the base 5 is less than log of 2 minus x to the base 5. Logarithmic inequality because of the less than symbol. For number 8, log of negative 3 to the base x is equal to 1. This is not either logarithmic equation, logarithmic inequality, or logarithmic function. So the answer is neither. For number 9, ln or natural logarithm of quantity 2x plus 9 is equal to ln of quantity x minus 7, logarithmic equation. Number 10, f of x equals log of quantity x minus 1 to the base 3, then logarithmic function. Number 11, log of x to the base 5 plus log of quantity 4x plus 7 to the base 5 equals 0. Obviously, logarithmic equation because of the equal sign. Number 12, log of quantity x squared minus 5x plus 3 to the base 9 all over 17. This is neither. Now for number 13, we have ln of x all over 10 is greater than or equal to 5 logarithmic inequality. Number 14, f of x equals log of 3x squared minus 5x minus 2 to the base 2 all over log of quantity 3x minus 1 to the base 2, then we have a logarithmic function because of the expression f of x. For number 15, log of 100 to the base x minus 4 is less than 2, logarithmic inequality. Exercise number 2. Directions use the basic properties of logarithms to find the value of the following logarithmic expressions. So we have number 1, log of 1 million is equal to 6. Now for the solution, this is the given, log of 1 million. And we have to know what, how did we come up with the answer 6. Well, let's express log of 1 million to x. Then, obviously, since there is no base here, it is understood to be a base 10. So, written, this logarithmic expression, written as exponential 
form we have 10 raised to x equals 1 million. Then, we just copy 10x is equal to, we express 1 million in such a way that it has a base 10. So, well, 1 million is a power of 10, 10 raised to 6. So, we have 10 raised to x equals 10 raised to 6. They have the same base. So, obviously, this x equals 6. So, that's the reason why we have the answer 6. Moving on to number 2, ln e raised to 9. This natural logarithm and this exponential expression, they are inverse functions of each other. So, if we have ln of e raised to 9, the ln and the e will cancel out and the 9 will go down or the answer is actually 9. So, for the solution, we let ln of e raised to 9 equals x. And then we have, since ln and e will cancel out, then we can write 9 equals x, or simply x equals 9. So the answer is 9. For number 3, log of 729 to the base 9 is equal to 3. Now, in the given, in your learning activity sheet, it is just log of 729 to the base 9. And you have to give the answer 3. But how did we come up with the answer 3? So, for the solution, we let log or logarithm of 729 to the base 9 equals x. And written in its equivalent exponential equation form, we have 9, the base, raise it to x equals 729. And since 729 can be written as 9 cubed, so 9 raised to x is equal to 9 cubed. So, in effect, x equals 3. Moving on to number 4. Log of 1 to the base 3 equals, we let that be equal to x first, then 3, raise it to x, so, 3 raised to x or 3 raised to the exponent x equals 1. So, 3 raised to x equals what is an expression to the base 3 with its power to something like, say, 0 equals 1. So, obviously, we have 3 raised to x equals 3 raised to 0 and x equals 0. For number 5, we have 4 raised to log of 64 to the base 4 equals, obviously, 64. How did we get this? We have first, we have to copy this whole expression for raised to log of 64 to the base 4 equals x. But we know that 4 raised to log of something here, like in this case 64, to the base 4, this is an exponential 4 raised to. This is the exponent. But in the exponent, part of the exponent is the logarithm of 64 to the base 4. Obviously, this will cancel out and 64 will move down, so to speak. So, x equals 64. And also, the exponential of base 4 is the inverse of log of x to the base 4. So they are inverses of each other. Let's have enrichment activity. Who am I? Let me read, I am a Scottish mathematician who invented and introduced logarithms to ease the burden of computing very large numbers. Who am I? To answer the riddle, find the value of the following logarithm and write the letter on the blank which corresponds to your answer. Write your solution in your answer sheets. Here we have these numbers. We have to fill this up with the table in the following expressions. So we have the letters here, that we have the logarithmic expressions, and we have the answer. So I will show you how to 
arrive at the answer for letter A. Well, let's try to do mental math. Log of 64 to the base 2. Meaning, what are we going to raise to 2? 2 is the base. 2 raised to x equals 64. Well, obviously, 2 raised to 6. So, in this case, letter A corresponds to the answer 6. Now, let's move on to the solution for letter A. Here, log of 64 to the base 2 equals x. We let it be the case. Then, 2 raised to x equals 64. And we know that 2 raised to 6 is 64. They have the same base, so obviously x equals 6 as it is written here. So 6 is the answer, and we find or we look for the number 6 here, and in this case it's here, and we write letter A. So we're done with letter A. We move on to letter E. And here's the solution. For letter E expression, log of 1 over 81 to the base 3 equals negative 4. How did we get it? Let's try to let x be equal to log of 1 over 81 to the base 3. Then 3 raised to x equals 1 over 81. And we can express 81 in terms of powers of 3. So that is actually 1 over 3 raised to 4. Because 81 is equal to 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, multiplying 3 4 times itself. We can write also as 3 raised to x equals 3 raised to negative 4. And obviously, x equals negative 4. So we locate negative 4 here, and the letter that corresponds to negative 4 is letter E. So we're done with two numbers. We have still a lot of numbers to solve. In this case, we have H. You already have the solution and the answer for letter H. But let's discuss the solution. We let the log of 100, this is understood to be of base 10, equals x. Then, converting to its exponential form, this is 10 raised to x equals 100. Then, 10 raised to x equals 10 squared. And, x equals 2. So, we look for 2 here, and we have h. So, we're down with 3. Let's move on to letter i. The expression is log of 1 to the base 8. We let log of 1 to the base 8 equals x, so that we can have the expression 8 raised to x equals 1. And, of course, what is the expression with a base 8? raised to something exponent that will give us 1. Obviously, it is 8 raised to 0 is 1. So, 8x equals 8 raised to 0. Therefore, x equals 0. So, the answer is 0. So, for 0 here, we have two right letter i. We're done with 4. For the fifth one, we have here... The expression log of 16 to the base 1 fourth, let's say it is equal to x. Then 1 fourth raise it to x equals 16, its exponential form. And we know that we can write 1 fourth raised to x as 4 raised to negative x. And obviously 16 is equal to 4 squared. So therefore, x equals, or negative x equals 2. Multiply both sides by negative 1 to make it x, and x equals negative 2. So on this part, negative 2 is here, and we have to write letter J. So I hope this time, can you, can you guess the name of this mathematician who invented logarithms? If not, let's proceed to the next. Okay, for letter N. Log of 27 to the base 9. We let that expression be equal to x so that we can have 9 raised to x equals 27. But 9 can be written as 3 squared times x equals 27 is written as 3 raised to 3. So we have here 2x 
here. They have the same base, 3. So we can equate the exponent 2x equals 3 and x equals 3 halves. So we have here 3 halves n and we have another 3 halves here we have n. So we're down with 2, 4, 6, 7 letters and we are 1, 2, 3. We're left with 3 more letters. Moving on to letter O. Now we have log of 625 to the base 5. Let it be equal to x so that we can have 5 raised to x equals 625. The 625 equals 5 raised to 4. So obviously x equals 4. So we can write letter O in the along or up the number 4. So O. So the name, the first name of the mathematician who invented logarithms to ease the computing of very large numbers is John. John. Not P. So let's have the last letter. Oh, this, the second to the last letter. My slides is advanced thinker. Well, 5 times log of 2 to the base 4. We can write it as log of 2 raised to 5. Yeah, if we have 5 here, make it 5 multiplied to a logarithmic equation. So we can multiply or we can make this as an exponent of this expression, this case 2, 2 raised to 5. So let 5 times log of 2 to the base 4 equals log of 2 raised to 5 to the base 4, and that is equal to x. So we can have 4 raised to x equals 2 raised to 5. And 4 can be written as 2 squared, then the exponent 2 will be multiplied to x. Okay, equals 2 raised to 5 still. Then they have the same base. The exponent 2x equals 5. And x equals 5 halves. So 5 halves is here. So we have letter P, na P. So the last letter now. Oh, you have already the name of the mathematician, but let me discuss to you the log expression given, log of 7 to the base 7. Obviously, the answer is 1. The solution, this expression, log of 7 to the base 7, let it be equal to x, so that 7 raised to x equals 7 raised to 1. x is equal to 1. So, 1 here is letter R. So, the mathematician that invented and introduced logarithms to compute or to ease the burden of computing very very large numbers is John Napier. If you are not yet a subscriber of my channel, kindly subscribe and please don't forget to like and share. And if you are a subscriber, you will be updated with more uploads for this learning activity videos. Thank you and always stay happy, healthy, and safe. Bye!